What's up everyone, Clark Glassford, founder of My Practice Union, where I help you land your dream job. And today we're talking about the age old question that gets asked in almost every interview, which is why did you leave your last job? So many applicants struggle answering this question because they actually haven't thought about it before they get to the interview. And especially if the reasons for leaving their last job is something on the negative side of things, they really struggle coming up with an answer on the fly to answer this question. Now, this question is typically asked in the beginning stage of the interview. It's where you want to make your best impression right out of the gates of that interview. So I have got six different areas to cover today as to why people leave their employers and their last job. We're gonna go over all six of those things. I have got five reasons and five ways to build out a really strong response to questions like this. And I have got a script that you can follow for each of those six reasons why you may have left your last job, including ones such as I was fired. Oh boy. So I've got some great script, great strategy, perfect way to build out your answers. Before we get there though, let's talk about why you're here. You're here to build your resume. You're here for job interview advice. You've come to the right place. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell on my YouTube page here so you can get connected to new content each and every week, which I am posting. Also, make sure you check out in the links here and here. I've got the Interview Accelerator Digital Workshop that will work you through each step of preparing for the interview process with sample questions hosted by myself. It is chock full of content that will set you apart from 99% of your competition so you are the 1% that is getting hired, getting promoted, and getting those raises you deserve. Check out the course, enroll today, but you know what? We're out of time. We gotta get going. Let's talk about this question. Are you ready? I am. Here we go. So we're here, we're talking about why did you leave your last job? It's such a tricky question if you haven't thought about a response to it. Now as a recruiter or employer, why am I asking that question? Well, a couple reasons. I want to assess the risk level. I want to see if you're some sort of flight risk. If you are somebody who is constantly switching jobs and careers, isn't going to be loyal to me, that is something that concerns me as an employer. And I, I, want, to, I want to know a little bit about that. I also am asking that to see if you are the right fit. You're clearly coming to me to apply for a position within my organization. And I want to know that you're the right fit for this role and the reasons for leaving your last job might give me a little bit of insight into that. So that's why I'm asking that question, but it's not a trick question. I'm not looking to trick you up, throw you off your interview game. I'm not looking to do any of that. I just want a straight ahead response as to why you've left your last employer or employers. So what are those reasons? I've kind of broken it down here into six different reasons and make sure you stick through to the end of the video where I give you a script for each of these reasons in terms of how you respond to this question. So reason number one, lack of advancement opportunities. Sure, everybody goes through that in an employer, depending on the employer, their size, just how they're structured, there may be a lack of advancement opportunities and you're going, you know what? I just need to make a change to move my career in the direction I want. So lack of advancement opportunities, one of those areas. Reason number two, wanting a new challenge. Of course, every employer, sometimes you just kind of hit a wall, you hit your ceiling, or the, just the role you're in just doesn't quite have the challenge that you're looking for. So you start looking elsewhere for an employer in a role that's going to give you that challenge. Nothing wrong with that. Reason number three, changing careers. People change careers all the time. It is common in today's workforce that people are changing jobs six, seven, eight, nine, ten times throughout their career. So that is a perfectly valid reason as to why you maybe left your last employer and you're looking for a new role. Now, the next one here, sorry, it's the kind of uh, yucky one, the one that people really cringe from answering. I was fired. You know what? It happens. Life happens. People get fired for all sorts of different reasons. Don't worry, in my script, I've got a great way to answer this question. Next one, laid off. Sure, companies go through changes. They change all the time. You know, they're downsizing, different economies, things like that. They're restructuring. People get laid off. That is a perfectly acceptable reason as to why you switch careers. And then the last one is family responsibility. You're caring for a loved one. You have a new child. There's all sorts of reasons why you may have left the workforce or left your last employer because you are trying to be responsible for a family member. So those are the top six reasons 
why people typically leave an employer. Now, the advice I wanna give you in terms of building a really powerful answer, and there's five key things here that I want you to think about when you're scripting a response. Now you hear me say that, scripting a response. This is something I want you to think about before you go to your next interview so you're ready to answer questions like this. So tip number one, be positive. What do you mean be positive? Be positive, be positive in your answer. Sometimes when we leave employers, we're not leaving on the most positive terms. We have hurt feelings, we have broken expectations, broken promises, things like that. But as a recruiter and as an employer, I wanna know that you can take things in stride. I want to know that you're not super negative in general and you're not negative on previous employers. Those are red flags for me. So I want you to be positive in terms of structuring your response. And you'll see in the scripts I've got here how you go about doing that. Next, be honest. Yeah, be honest. Don't just make up some fluffy answer that really isn't the honest reason as to why you left the employer. Trained recruiters like myself, yeah, we can kind of see through those responses. They're fluffy. There's not a lot of meat to them. There's not a lot of substance. Plus, guess what I do on the back end after you've gone through the interview? When I'm considering you for the role, I do reference checks. So I'm going to be checking your references. One of the questions that I ask as a trained recruiter, why did they leave the last employer here? Why did they leave you? And if I get an answer that's different from what you've said, red flag, probably not going to hire you. Tip number three, be factual. So stick to what actually happened. Don't build a lot of fluff like I said in previously. Don't build in a bunch of mumbo jumbo things that really don't relate to why you actually left. Stick to the facts, stick to the story as it actually happened. Tip number four, be confident. Okay, how do you be confident? Well, you practice in advance, building out that script, writing why you actually left that employer. But guess what? At the end of the day, life happens, work happens, all sorts of changes happen in everyone's life that lead to different reasons for leaving their careers. So be confident in your delivery and why you left your career. The key thing here is I want you to own it. Own all the reasons as to why things happen the way they happen and why you left that organization. Very important because that sends such a positive message to me as the hiring manager and the recruiter in terms of making a determination as to whether you're right for this role. And the last tip here is be enthusiastic. As you're delivering your response, I want to hear the reasons why and that you're enthusiastic in taking that next step in your career journey with me as your employer. So your answer should always end off on an enthusiastic note about myself as the employer, the job opportunity, and how it nicely aligns to what it is you're looking for in your career. So those are the five tips along with the six reasons why people leave their job. And I've got a script, I told you I would, and I've written a script for each of those six reasons that you can follow, you can take, you can tailor, you can build into your own response as you prepare for your interview. All right, so let's start with the first script. Lack of advancement. I was eager to advance in my career and independently lead more projects, but with such a small organization, it wasn't possible for me to further my career. Therefore, I made the decision to leave. I'm excited about this position and your organization as I feel it will allow me to utilize my expertise and grow with an excellent organization. Next reason to leave your career, wanting a new challenge. After spending five years with my last company, I'm ready to take on a new challenge and grow my skills. I'm excited to learn something new and I know this role will allow me to use my prior expertise while also gaining new knowledge I feel ABC Incorporated is the perfect organization to join to continue my career and add value to your corporate goals. Next reason you've left your job, changing careers. I realize that my true passion is working as, insert career passion here, I've always loved this type of work but decided to take my career in a different direction when I entered the workforce. Now I'm ready to pursue my career in, again, insert career passion here, and I'm particularly excited by the possibility of working with your organization. Next, that ugly one, I was fired. Unfortunately, I was let go from my previous position. I think ultimately the job wasn't a good fit and I wasn't able to develop the right skills to do the job in support of the organization. My boss and I agreed that it was time to move on. I'm looking forward to this new opportunity as I feel it better aligns to my skill set. Next reason, laid off. In my last role, the company suffered some financial hardships and had to eliminate my job along with many others. I am grateful for my time in that role as it gave me the opportunity to increase my knowledge and overall career development, which I feel will be an asset for this position and your organization. Last one, 
moving from careers for family responsibilities. I decide to take time to start a family. I'm ready and excited to jump back into the workforce and utilize my professional expertise and skill set. Leaving my last job was an intentional decision to pause my career and focus on my family. Personally, it was the right thing to do and also a very fulfilling and eye-opening experience. During my time away from full-time work, I kept well informed on the changes and the evolution in this industry before diving into my job search. I proactively refreshed my skills in several areas, including doing, you choose, X, Y, and Z, and now I'm excited and energized to return to work. So those are the six reasons why people typically leave their job. Those are the five tips that I can give you in terms of crafting an incredible response. And I've given you scripts that you can use to tailor to build a response to this question. I hope you have found this video useful. Again, like, subscribe, ring the bell to my channel. And you know what? We've ran out of time here today. We'll see you next time. And like I always say, keep on rocking those interviews. Peace.